Welcome back to Mellow Gamer Girl. This is the official gameplay trailer for The Sims 4 Life as Death. It's a five minute and six second trailer, which is actually pretty insane. So I wanted to go through this. This is my first time watching the video. It just released this morning, October 17th at 8 a.m. So we're gonna go screen by screen and see what we see. Okay, so just with this, we see more of the, like, broken out windows, which I guess have different colors. This one looks like a greenhouse color more than anything. I'm not sure who this is, but her shirt is interesting. I'm disappointed to see we didn't get new garden boxes, since I it kind of feels like gardening is going to be a part of this pack. Hundreds of thousands of sins die on the Oh, the different death types. So we see someone dying of laughter. Um, this I, It's really weird. We keep seeing this ghost cow plant. I didn't think cow plants could die. Unless that's something new to this expansion pack. But we'll see. It's very interesting. A common misconception is that I'm the one to blame. The truth is that old age, fire, and... Oh, that's different. I don't think we've ever seen fires quite like this. Um, like a whole house on fire. Usually we just see like an individual sim, like catch on fire, or like a kitchen appliance or something like that. Um, be very beautiful world. It kind of reminds me of Willow Creek, though, with some of the trees and the like the shrubs and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see if this is just trailer magic or if this is specific to the new world or how, like whole house fires, brand new. Also love that Grimm is narrating this. We actually rarely ever see Grimm in like The Sims 4 and as a whole. They play more lives than any other form. I'm just the Reaper. Mine is That's the second time we've seen this house. So in the Meet the Grim Turns like mini gameplay trailer that came out a week ago, we saw the same house, the same building. And I think this is Grim's headquarters. So if you play as the active Grim Reaper career, I think your son's actually going to get to go to this building. That would be really cool because most active careers, like at least if you have to get together... I'm sorry, the Get to Work expansion pack. Most of the active careers have a building that your sim actually goes to. So this is this is interesting to see that we'll actually go to this building. I wonder if it's accessible through the world or is this like a hidden lot that you can only access if you're in the intern. Okay, interesting. We keep seeing a lot of the same imagery. I like these filing cabinets. I hope they're interactable. A lot of pictures of Grimm, which is super nice just from a build by standpoint. More of this practice dummy. I wonder if we can have a practice dummy to take home. Like if you want to practice this outside of like the working hours. And I wonder if Grimm is actually going to teach you how to do anything or is this just trailer magic again? Now, the door reminds me of Realm of Magic, being able to enter that world that came with World of Magic. So I'm kind of curious because that part's reused, but I guess it's going to take you to these people who need to be reaped. Not quite sure. Okay, now we see different colors of outfits. So it does make me question a little bit if maybe there's a hierarchy amongst the Grimms. So in the Meet the Grimms, the Grim Turns mini trailer. We saw a purple outfit that had like purple trim that lights up. This one's red. Then we have our interns who are wearing like a basic, maybe like black and white, gray kind of one. So I wonder what that means. Like, is there a hierarchy or a certain, like, do you have to do something to unlock these other outfits? So as an intern, that's interesting. I wonder if this is actually in the world. So there's a statue that looks like Grimm, maybe, or someone who's passed away. Um, and so as the Grimm turn, it's interesting. We can 
I guess, go do reapings randomly throughout the world. I wonder if it's just throughout Ravenwood. I forget the name of the world that comes with this new expansion pack. Or is it just any sim anywhere in any of the worlds for the game? And we have a very high percentage of hitting our weekly quotas. <laughs> Those who live a life. Okay, so this is interesting. I don't remember how often my sims get electrocuted. I feel like my sims only get electrocuted if they have a really low repair skill and then they try to repair something like a TV or a computer and then they get electrocuted. Usually they don't die from that. I think he's dying because there's like water also on the floor. Now, just looking at this, a whole bunch of new build by for the kitchen, which is actually cute. I like the dead flowers, new fridge with like this see-through kind of frosted window. I wonder if that's actually going to work like in the game, like, are you going to be able to see the stuff that your sim has already cooked and it's put in this fridge as leftovers, or is it just like a generic little window that shows you fake stuff? And then new flooring, both nice flooring, but also like a little hole in the ground, kind of giving you that worn out look. You can also see that around the windows and on the wallpaper. But yeah, really cute. I like that everything's kind of a darker color. We see a lot of blacks, a lot of golds, a lot of blue. There's like a blue chair or something in this far window. Now, he's talking about the new trait. So, Chased by Death is a new character trait you can give to your sim, one of three that's coming. And so, these people are probably always on the brink of death. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Chased by Death certainly improve our odds. You all know the one. But hey, you have to admit. I think that guy also just died by embarrassment, Maybe. That's really interesting. So I like this kind of rundown look. So this is another example with like patches in the roof, kind of older dingy colors. Um, it looks like we've gotten some new maybe pool or lounge chairs or something. Since sins can die by drowning. So I guess they're going to try to give us something for every scenario. Here's that ghost train in the background. Um, I'm sad that we still don't have transportation like in The Sims 4. Like in the Love Struck expansion pack, which is the one that came out in July, we had bus stops, but there's no bus in The Sims 4. And so now for Love Str or for Life and Death to give us a ghost train, but there are no trains in The Sims 4, it's like, are they hinting that we're going to eventually get transportation? Or is this just something in the background? Oh, he just has terrible luck. Our main character here. Now, I don't know if this is part of the world, but this is interesting. This doesn't look like the town square that we saw in the last trailer, the reveal trailer. This looks like a different area. So a huge like clock tower. I'm assuming that's Grimm standing there on the balcony, maybe. Maybe it's interactable. Maybe it's a rabbit hole. Some Sims there on the bottom. There's something down here, some sort of book or something. And it's like covered in fog. It kind of reminds you of the world that came with the vampires expansion or the game pack. So, I want to see a little bit more of this. The number of young adults that don't consider what they ultimately want to accomplish with their... Lord. <laughs> so, we're going to have Woohoo in a crypt coffin. A little morbid. It kind of reminds me again of the Woohoo from the Vampires game pack where they could Woohoo in a coffin. But the, the difference was those coffins weren't for dead people. Those are coffins for vampires specifically. This coffin, I believe, is for sims that have passed away and so that's really interesting that you can woohoo in that in public i mean they're like outside <laughs> you know doing this kind of crazy i hope sims react to that like if other sims are mourning their dead ones in this graveyard and they see you hop into a grave and woohoo is that gonna freak them out uh, more about the soul's journey i hope we get a lot more details about that Now this tree is different, and I'm tr I'm assuming this is somewhere in the lot. It's in the world itself, a lot that you can go visit. I wonder if this tree has some sort of mystical powers. Can you talk to your deceased Sims? Like, what can you do here? And there seems like ghosts also seem to frequent this because this looks like a ghost. It's either a ghost, ghost, or someone wearing the Grim Reaper outfit. Oh well, no, it's a ghost for sure. <laughs> 
definitely a ghost. Not sure what's over her head. Is it a veil? Is it a hat? Is it a costume? That's not clear. Now, Ghost Historian is one of the new aspirations that came with this pack. And so it sounds like you're going to want to seek out creepy experiences throughout this new world. These contribute to a life. Take it from me, they're not enough. But even though your sim has, I guess, this new soul's journey, I guess you have to do more than just live, which is interesting. I'm liking this new wallpaper with the little skulls and the owls, um, a little ghost in a jar, some sort of like hand sculpture, maybe. Also liking her outfit, this little hooded cape like shirt and these mesh like see through like all very dark and gothy. Okay, this is interesting. So the soul's journey and the bucket list seem to be tied together. So she's holding, I guess it looks like a journal or like a notebook, maybe. And in her notebook, there, there's three options that popped up. So she could put in her inventory, which is interesting. So maybe each Sim can have their own notebook. She can make a bucket list or she can make an heirloom. You can't see, really see it behind the subtitles, but it says make heirloom. And so that's interesting. So you can keep your bucket list and then pass it on to someone else to read. The whole heirloom system is a little confusing. And I want to do a separate video on heirlooms versus the keepsake box. So if you have the growing together expansion pack, elders were able to, anyone was able to have a keepsake box and put whatever they wanted in there. And it would be random stuff like birth certificates, marriage certificates, diplomas, degrees, whatever. And then when you were an elder, you were able to designate someone as the as a keeper of the keepsake box. Like they get to inherit it. And then you would leave one of like nine options. And it would affect the family and the family dynamics. Depending on what option you pick. Like some, some options were like family is everything. Or some was like mm, family is whatever. And so it kind of would affect the person who inherits it, the keepsake box. I'm curious what that does with heirlooms. I know heirlooms in this game is supposed to be something that you inherit, but is it going to affect the person that inherits it depending on what they inherit? Also looking at this, I'm loving this purple. So this expansion pack is going to have a lot of darker muted colors. We're getting a lot of dark purples, blues, blacks, browns, like a burnt orange. We're getting darker fall colors, which is really nice. I love this build by right now. And a lot of new d wall decor to kind of fit the same theme, new candles. I hope we can slot something into this end table under here. Okay, now we see a lot more options. Again, once she clicked on the bucket list option from this notepad, she can write a goal, she can scrap the whole list, she can write the perfect goal, or she can write goal from category. Now, I'm not sure what the categories would be, and I'm not sure what the perfect goal is versus a regular goal. I'm hoping the perfect goal, if you achieve it, gives you extra whatever towards your soul's journey. Because it seems like you need to complete... I don't know if you complete all of it. It seems like Ghost has two options afterwards. But I guess it, you go up to Ghost, maybe. Fulfilled. You can always scrap the list. So these are interesting. So for Vanja's bucket list, which I'm assuming is her, and this dress is really cute. She wants to peak as an artist, just nap, I guess, quit that job, find the, the well of longing and regret. Now these look like she wrote them in herself. So I wonder if we in the actual game can write this in or is it just random? Now, this well interaction reminds me so much of the wishing well that came with the Romantic Gardens stuff pack. Kind of the same animation, too, where you make a wish. It's just a little bit creepier. Okay, so for her, she didn't finish her list. So she just made the list yesterday. She only did one thing, which is the well of longing and regret. And now it looks like she's dying of hunger or starvation like this rocking chair with the little emblems in it another pet crow 
cute little poof. I wonder if our Sims can actually sit on that. This is a little bit lighter. I like that they're not all dark colors, but still kind of muted colors. I believe this is a new plant here. And I like the decoration in these columns. Very intricate. And I think her nails are new. Or at least they look new. So she died of hunger. Oh, I guess we'll come back to that. Now this we've seen before. So this is the town hall. I'm going to go back like one little mini second. Uh, this is the town hall that we've seen in the original trailer. So in the town hall, we know they can do tarot card readings. But this is different. So she looks like an attorney. Or maybe a businesswoman. And she has all these boxes. And so I guess the town hall, this is one of the festivals that was mentioned in the blog post that you could go to this festival and make a will or or at least change it. Okay, new options. So she's an inheritance lawyer, which hope that's a new playable career. I know they didn't mention the blog post. They only mentioned the funeral director, which is like a rabbit hole career with two branches or the active Grim Reaper career. But I wonder if inheritance lawyers is either going to be a branch added to the law career. We already have a law career in The Sims 4. I think it came with Discovery University maybe. But I would like to see this as an option of someone who can do this. So if your Sim ends up being a lawyer, can they have this option to work this booth? Or like make it have a little bit of cross pack play because it's kind of hard to see that. Uh, but in this one, it looks like you can start a will. You can ask about wills. You can ask about heirlooms. And you can ask about funerals. So I'm wondering if you have to go through the lawyer to do these things or can you do this at like on a computer or something at home? Okay, so once you decide to start a will, it seems like it's something that pops into your inventory and it looks it actually looks like a will pretty good spot on. Um, and I'm assuming our sim is either a adult or an elder who wants to do this so we'll see but once she clicked on the will in her inventory she got four new options she has simoleons leave a personal note heirlooms sim remains so i guess we get to set something for each category and let's see okay so when she clicked set personal note it asks to set an emotion so the person who gets the note is going to feel i'm assuming is going to feel one of these so they can feel angry bored embarrassed flirty happy and there's like some other options that look like they might have been cut off oh inspired playful sad or tense so there's only about nine emotions that they can feel kind of matches the emotions that the sims feel overall if they just had like moodlets now i'm curious why we're setting the emotion i think the emotion should be set based on what the sim actually feels so the person who's reading the will should randomly go through one of these nine emotions depending on their relationship to the deceased sim i don't think it should be us setting the emotion so this is interesting Get your affairs in order. so you can actually type in a note so i want them to read this note with a playful emotion that's interesting it may be your last chance to tell those okay maybe she was an elder so she passes away and i forget the colors of the ghost i'll have to go through that because he's purple and i don't know what that means he died of uh but he's reading her will so she just made it he's reading it looks like he has a plate like a smile like a laughing emotion going on and then when he read it the other people were laughing and then her ghost, which apparently is also at the funeral or the will reading is also laughing. My question with the will reading is, is it a separate event? Like, will you make an event, have all the people who are listed in the will come to the event and then read the will? Or is this read at the funeral? I feel like that's tacky. I wouldn't want my will read at the funeral. But I don't know how I feel about those. I'm a little bit conflicted only because I don't like that we're setting the emotion for the person reading it and the people listening to it. I think it should be organic. If they're going to have the nine emotions, that's fine. But I think it should be based on the relationship of the person reading the will, the people hearing the will, and then 
you know, the, their relationship to the deceased sim. I don't think it should be us, the player, setting all that up. Seems a little micromanaging. Okay, some more examples of graves. So we have the crypt, which looks like you can actually go into it. We have like a, just a regular headstone in a plot. And then we have like an urn on top of something. So I guess we have a lot of customization on what we can put on each plot. Maybe the plots have, you can click and drag certain things. This one has an ink quill and a book. This one has like a light. And this one doesn't have anything. But these two have mats or engravings or something in the front. The earliest grave markers are almost as old as me. Yeah, a lot of variety. I'm fascinated. Oh, you can choose. So once you put them in something, a plot, you can choose to display as a gravestone, display as an urn. So we have a lot of customization here. Nice. That's nice. If I had okay, so we have a lot of customization both inside and outside. So it looks like we can customize urns, crypts, gravestones. We get to customize, of course, funerals. I'm assuming this urn that's sitting here is going to be the same urn that's going to end up outside. But that's not 100% clear. This emoji has me a little bit confused. I guess he's thinking about my memory and the funeral i don't know that's a weird one um i like this up here it looks like it looks like alcohol but i don't know um more decor this little ghost box different rug a lot of plants in this one which i guess makes sense for funerals a lot of wreaths and i don't know how i feel about the cast though these outfits are i guess they're kind of victorian goth looking <sighs> they're kind of interesting to me is that a new makeup like runny makeup or is it now that we have the option for makeup to run i don't know how i feel about these earrings or the hair the hair is giving me 20s but the rest of the outfit's not so i'm not quite sure what's going on here sorry i've been told i lack a certain connection now he was in the original stuff he people online because i don't remember the lore from the sims 2 it's been so long said that he was a nervous subject so he's the son of grim and olive specter i guess so somebody in the comments let me know okay i could be totally off i wonder if he's gonna be like one of the pre-made families in this new world and what his relationship to Grim is going to be? Are they going to keep the same lore from The Sims 2 or are they going to give us new lore? The Sims 4 doesn't really do lore well, so it's going to be interesting to see how they play this off. I really like this grandfather clock. I think it's really nice. Wow. Um, I didn't know it was going to be pronounced macabre. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, so the RE is just silent? Macabre? I don't know. So these people, I'm, I'm guessing, are interested in death and grim and like everything dark and depressing. But there are also okay. So those are the three traits. So we have chased by death, which was our first guy who like kept having near death scenarios. Then we have macabre, which are people who are obsessed with, with death and ghosts and grim and all that. And then we have people who don't believe in any of it. So I'm, I'm guessing skeptics don't believe in ghosts, don't want tarot readings. You know, they're just cut and dry. I do like this top on her. That's nice. I think that hair, I feel like we have another version of that somewhere. A lot of alcohol. But like, they're not the highlight of it. And a fireplace poker. That's interesting. It's about you. I get it. I'll do better. Okay. So she argues with him. Because she doesn't believe, I guess, in crows or that crows can kill you. And then it looks like she get she's getting killed by the crow. I love this picture back here. This purple thorn rose picture is very cute. I think it's very interesting. And that's the back of the pictures. So in the teaser that they released like in September and they showed us the new roadmap 
that was the back of each card is this image so i'm glad to see it coming full circle the cow plant picture again oh she she fought with the crow and died okay so this is what typically would happen so if you played in a, a household only had one sim and they died from whatever you would either get kicked back to the to, you could save and go to manage worlds and play another household or you could exit the game without saving so you can go back and play them as them being alive again no, no, no. A oh my goodness so if you play in a lot where there's only one sim there is a new option so you can either be a playable ghost or a free roaming ghost so it says begin a new chapter of life by playing as a ghost Excitingly, ghostly powers await in the afterlife. Perhaps your sim has some unfinished business to attend to. You can also choose to relinquish control and allow them to stick around as a free form ghost. They have spelling errors here. Rebirth into a new life with faded memories of those you once knew. You'll be taken to manage worlds to select the household to rebirth your new sim into. If you have earned the burning soul trait, your soul will be able to manifest pieces of past personality traits along with certain others. If you choose to rebirth as a younger sim, you will have certain developmental skills immediately unlocked, giving you a head start in your new journey. So that's interesting. So a free roaming ghost, I'm not sure what that means. Are we saying it's a non-playable ghost that's just going to roam Ravenwood? Or what are we saying? State of life waiting beyond the veil. Well, in this example, they let her be a playable ghost. So I guess we would stay in the same household and play as her. She looks the same minus the purple. So now I'm assuming purple means you died by crow. Or it's just a random color. She seems to be happy that she's a ghost or at least aware that she's a ghost. I get it. But she can still interact with people. And I think that's throwing me off a little bit. That people are not freaked out that she's a ghost and that she's talking to them. Like, I would be freaked out. If I went to someone's funeral or if I was just hanging out, they die in front of me, pop back up as a ghost. I would be like, oh my God, are you good? <laughs> what happened? It's a lot. You can shoot. Okay. So as a ghost, you have different interactions. It looks like you can mourn your past life. You can choose how you want your urn or gravestone to look. You can possess objects or you can move on to the great beyond. Which I'm assuming means you're no longer going to be a playable ghost. Move on. But there are also resources to help. And that's what's interesting because it's like, well... What would be the motivation for you to choose to move on? Just tired of being a ghost, I guess? And now it looks like for people who passed away, chose to be ghosts, they get to have their own secret society? <laughs> or they kind of meet in this dark foresty area? Cold. And even if you finished your bucket list, you may find that you Oh, see, that's interesting. So I'm assuming we're this one. I'm assuming we're him. Casimir, and he did complete most of his life but now that he's a ghost he has other things he wants to do so he wants to ghost woohoo comfort the living become a supreme ghost so ghostly chaos so he has a lot that he wants to do but i feel like it's unfair to say unfinished business because he, there was no way he could have completed that during his soul's journey because all these are after he became a ghost okay so we're gonna so i guess there's three paths to ghost you can have a, an evil path you can have a good path or you can have kind of a neutral path in the middle so i'm curious i guess as you move up the ranks you start off with nothing and then you're gonna be one two three so it's like four levels of ghostly powers i guess 
Seems like Ghost Woohoo is a power. Maybe it's a power to woohoo the living. That's interesting. Comforting something. This looks like comforting people or being a comforting spirit, maybe. Being able to talk to the living. Being able to do stuff to objects, repair, clean, being friends, visiting people in their dreams, maybe. I mean, that's the good side looks interesting. Being able to empower, help people feel better. That's interesting. And the neutral side, it's like being able to haunt, maybe, or being able to spy on people, being spooky. I don't know. So on the evil side, it's like breaking stuff, haunting objects, giving people nightmares, scaring people. I don't know. That's very interesting. Your unfinished business. Okay, so sewing Greek ghostly chaos. It looks like he's bothering. I like this little skirt shirt option. For sure. Looks like he's bothering two Sims. I don't know if those are his family or just random Sims. But that seemed to check that one off. Now in the background, there's a creepy, like, bunny doll. Is that a decoration? Is that a plushie? Like, what is that? That's really weird. <laughs> you can use your powers. Oh, so we figured out one. So if you're a good ghost and you've gone up the food chain a little bit, you can repair stuff for your living sims. For good, to make life a little That's nice. Or ride the line of neutrality. Oh, if you're a neutral sim, you can transcend living needs. So you'll no longer need clean no you'll no longer need to eat or use the bathroom or stay clean on the other hand maybe you want to get a little nasty oh, no judgments here oh he's a, a levitator so he can kind of mess with the living and rob them i have no morality oh wonderful Okay, so once you've finished all your ghostly unfinished business, now you have complete your soul's journey. So it seems like it's unclear when it's complete. It is unfinished business. And he got the burning soul. Now Dimitri's ghostly powers won't get burnt out. And should he choose to be reborn, he'll basically, I don't know, be better than he was. Okay, so he got to choose... To be an evil ghost, but he still finishes ghostly business. He goes to this purple lake, and now he's going to be reborn. Yeah. Okay, so rebirth has a whole thing to it. So is your soul ready to embrace the next chapter? By choosing to rebirth, you set forth on a new journey as a new sim, leaving your current life behind with no chances of return. You will be taken to manage world to select the household where your new sim will unfold and you'll have the opportunities to customize your reborn self and create a sim. While funds, relationships, and achievements from this life will be lost, if you've already unlocked the coveted burning soul trait, you will be able to retain one personality trait with the recall past life self-interaction, along with certain others using the appearance of soul interaction available on mirrors. If you choose to rebirth as a younger sim, certain developmental traits will be immediately unlocked. Now the threads of fate lie before you. Your choice to weave a new destiny can be made when you're ready. Will you choose to rebirth now? So that's interesting. So two new options. You can retain one personality trait by clicking on yourself and choosing to recall past life. And you can get some other traits, I guess. That part's not clear. It says certain others. So... Is that traits that we've unlocked? Like, you know, if you complete your aspiration, you unlock a trait. Or if you were like a top-notch toddler, you unlock a trait. So maybe those are the other traits that you can unlock by peering into soul. It's a real hot button issue back at the office. <laughs> okay, finally getting to see the world. So this is the new world. 
which seems to be broken up, of course, into three distinct neighborhoods. We've got kind of a dark neighborhood over here. And you can see some empty lot. There's a empty lot. Someone lives here. Maybe that's nervous subject. Another empty lot. And like a nightclub. Or a lounge or something here. Now you can see off in the distance. This looks like Grimm's. The Grimm turn building. So maybe we are able to access it. Maybe not. Just like the high school from high school years. We could access it and customize it. Then in this area, it seems to have a bar. Another family lives here and another family lives there. And then in the main square, it seems like to be the town square where you can talk to a lawyer, make your will, buy a casket, all that fun stuff. Um, there's someone who lives here and here. There's an empty house, empty house. And then there's a graveyard. A pretty big graveyard. I wonder how you get your sim into that. Simply put, it is possible to bring pieces of yourself into your next life things like childhood skills. oh that's cool i like that but you're not going to just start from scratch if you choose to be reborn as an infant you may have some infant skills unlocked i'm a little confused because he looks like an infant unless i'm wrong but these are toddler skills unless i'm wrong i thought these are toddler skills those and reward traits I guess they're showing us examples. So if you're reborn as a toddler, you may have toddler skills. If you're reborn as an adult, you may be able to bring some of the skills that you already had from previous traits or things you unlocked. So if you use your rewards points, you can unlock steel bladder, high metabolism. That's interesting. You can start fresh at any age. Even change your appearance. Oh. Come back and that is really interesting. Like, I think that's really sick that you can come back at any age. So if you're like, hey, I want to redo my teens. And that's cool. Now, when I'm looking here, it looks like there's a sign that says no ghost. So maybe that's an option. No ghost. It kind of reminds me of Fort Rent because I didn't understand that at the time. When you were a property owner in Fort Rent, you can designate if you want your properties to be allowed to have ghosts or you can block ghosts from coming on your lot. And I thought that was interesting because it's very rare that you have ghosts at that point during full rent in your game. But now it makes sense since they knew this was coming to block you not being able to ghost. So you don't have that whole situation. Your own great grandchild. Or join your rich neighbor's household. I'm not able to do it myself, so I can't endorse it. But a whole new aspect of See, this is Olive Spectre. Like a younger version. Because I think in The Sims 2 she was already older. Maybe she was an elder. But it does kind of confirm that Grimm was with her. And that's their son. I'm not sure who he is though. But it looks like he's about to die anyways from Crow. Another gorgeous painting in the background. Life is available to those who return to the living. So don't fear death. Just embrace what's next. That's cool that Grimm can have a baby. So, of course, they have their pre-order items, but, you know, nobody ever cares about those. Or at least I don't. So, the only thing that I'm curious about now, and so I'm going to back out of this and see, is there any more details? Did they give us any links or anything interesting? I think we've read this before. I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, I don't think they gave us any... I don't think there's any new details. But I was just curious. No, these are the same two links. So no new details. Boo! Tomato, tomato. But I'll do more videos if there's anything else that comes up after this. But I'm actually really excited. The game looks like it's very in-depth. A lot going on. So much that they're offering with between... The active careers, making wills, life's journey, bucket list, being a ghost. Like, this is a really fleshed out expansion pack, especially compared to the last three or four we've gotten. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this new trailer and does this make you more excited for the game?